Hey guys, Tamna here. Today I'm going to be comparing Biomas moisturizers. If this is something you're interested in. Make sure to keep on watching. Wait. So this is not a first impression video as I've been using these products for under two weeks. The first thing I'm going to do right now is to show you guys the hand swatch. I don't know if you guys can notice anything. So this is way thicker than this, but they are both thick. Let me run this down. I'm going to wipe my hand. Yeah, let's see this one. So on this side is the gel cream and on this side is the rich cream. So I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to do a face application. On this side I'll be applying the gel cream and on this side I'll be applying the rich cream. So I'll start with the gel cream and I'll be taking one, two, three pumps. And I'm just going to tap it like so. And on the other side, I'm going to take three pumps as well. One, two, three. Okay, so let's apply. So I'm done applying both moisturizers and I hope you guys can spot the difference between them. On this side I have the gel cream and on this side I have the rich cream. Now I want to read the description of these moisturizers and share with you guys the price. Starting first with the gel cream. It is designed to draw in and retain moisture so that our cells can function at their best. This formula works to restore and reduce inflammation. It claims to be lightweight, absorbs into the testy skin, and it leaves the skin feeling soft and hydrated. It retails for 13 euros 50 cents, whereas the rich cream is said to be a quick rich fix for thirsty skin. It instantly nourishes and deeply hydrates the skin. It claims to melt into fine lines and creases, intensely hydrates the skin, and improves skin texture. It retails for 15 euros 80 cents for a 50 ml bottle. Now it's time for us to talk about the texture and the finish these moisturizers leave my skin with. Starting first with the gel cream. The texture is more like a lotion as opposed to a gel that it claims to be. It reminds me so much of the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. It leaves my skin feeling soft, cooling, and it gives me sort of a glow my skin isn't oily just so you know but you can tell that hair looks different from here whereas the rich cream feels more like a thicker lotion and it isn't as thick as the CeraVe moisturizing cream if you haven't seen that video just tap a link on the screen and it takes you there this leaves my skin with a velvet finish i don't want to say matte because it's not drying matte or matte 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 that we are used to in terms of like a mattifying primer it feels a lot heavier than the gel cream and it is a little more occlusive than the gel cream now it's time to talk about the ingredient the brand took its time to decode ingredients which i feel like a lot of people will like and appreciate starting first with the gel cream the gel cream contains ingredients like niacinamide sodium salt glycerin sodium hyaluronate and methyl if you remember i mentioned that this product felt cooling on the skin the methyl in this product is the reason for that cooling sensation i felt whereas the rich cream contains cytosphincosin bacochil olive oil, tocopherol, lactic acid, glycerin, ceramide NP, cholesterol, and a salt form of licorice root. 
that potassium glyce whatever i can't pronounce that word so next is to move to fragrance according to this brand these products are non-comedogenic oil-free fragrance-free alcohol-free it's vegan cruelty-free dermatologist tested and approved so starting first with the um gel cream the gel cream has this panadol scent like hospital mind you it's not overpowering it's just me i like to deeply sniff products whereas the rich cream has little to no scent but i can definitely pick a slight olive oil scent from it it's not overpowering as well once you burn into the skin it's all gone now what weather conditions can these moisturizers be used you can use them for either summer or winter it claims to be for all skin types but let me break it down for you so which is best for your skin type in my opinion if you have normal combination oily to acne prone skin i suggest you reach out for the gel cream mainly because it is more lightweight on the skin and it dries down a little faster than the rich cream whereas if you have dry skin normal so maybe combination skin reach out for the moisturizing rich cream also the weather depends on which of them you go for for example i use either of these moisturizers depending on how my skin feels and it's cold at the moment so i you know alternate between both of them so if i want something that is more occlusive i go for the rich cream and if i want something much more lightweight I go for the gel cream so basically it's your choice depending on what you're going for i would like to add that the rich cream is not so thick so dry skin may not really find this really really moisturizing so you can steal with oil so yeah my overall thought is that the brand has done not bad at least they have a variety of products the only thing missing from their collection i feel like is a sunscreen which from the bottle, they indicate here, cleanse, tone or mist, treat, moisturize and protect. And they have all step one to step four. What is missing is their sunscreen. And I feel like that's what they are working on now. And that should be their next release. We should expect to see from them. I look forward to, you know, seeing what this brand is going to create in the future or release in the future. It's really affordable. And if you're looking for some, you know, new fun products to, um, to purchase you can go ahead and purchase it if you are in the us is available at target and if you are you know anywhere else in the world just get it from core beauty and they can ship to you yeah guys so we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys found my video helpful if you did find it helpful please give it a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. I'm so late for my swimming class.